Good morning, everyone. Happy January. This is Adam Ratliff with Adam So Fun. And um, I'm back. I went to Dallas for a week. I just got back at midnight last night. Um, while I'm teaching, I tend to stay off social media and try not to get... I'm, I'm there to teach, so I'm always kind of in teaching mode. Um, so for those of you who sent me questions, sorry if I didn't get back to you, if it took me a few days. Um, like I said, I'm in teaching mode, but I always try to get back. Um, but while I was there, I was, you know, when I had time, I scrolled through social media and I noticed a lot of people asking questions about uh, Pro Stitcher catalog. You know, you downloaded it, but there's not a new file or a new application. Where is it? Where do we find it? It's not searching all the designs. It's only searching some of the designs. So I want to kind of touch on that really quick. It's not going to be a super in-depth video, but I want to show you a few things, um, a few important things. One, this computer is only for my my sewing related tasks. I have some embroidery software. I have Pro Stitcher uh, Simulator, Pro Stitcher Studio, um, some other quilting software. It all lives on this computer and that's all that this computer does. Um, I travel and I teach off of this one because it has all of that. I have a master computer so everything I download goes onto that computer and when I need to bring files over I have to put them on a thumb drive, bring them over to this computer and then add them to here. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to put files onto a thumb drive that you've downloaded from the internet. I'm going to show you how to take them off and stick them on a different computer. If you're using them straight from that thumb drive, if you're like taking the thumb drive to the um, Pro Stitcher, you don't have to take them off that thumb drive. You can use them. My thumb drive in my machine, which is right here. It stays in there all the time. It has all my files on there. I don't have to copy them and stick them onto my tablet because they're there. I just um, open the ones I want because you can open direct from the thumb drive. Um, when I save files, they save to the thumb drive. So you don't have to put them on there, but because I'm using a computer, I want to bring them from one computer to the other because this thumb drive is going to go back and forth and it actually has a bunch of other just junk on it. Um, but I want to show you how to do that. And then I'll show you how to link those files so Quiltable actually searches them. Quiltable is set to search a specific file and you can link some more so then it goes in and um, it will add that to your search. So I'm, I'm about to bring in what I think almost 400 new designs which I'm super excited about because um, I've just kind of bring it, been bringing in them one on one when I need them for, with the machine. So any of the Quiltable stuff that you've seen me working on that I've um, taken pictures of and all that, I've been bringing just like that one design when it's really a file of 10 or 20. So um, so now I have the 400 that I'm gonna bring over here. As always, thank you for joining me. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the, um, give me thumbs up. 2020, it's all about the likes, right? And then um, if you hit that bell icon, when the new videos come out, you'll always be notified. Like today, this isn't a, a normal day that a video comes out, but if you hit that bell, you would, you'll would you get a notification saying, hey, there's a new video today, and then you can kind of check it out. Because videos usually drop um, noon Eastern on Fridays, and I'm super excited. Um, I also have been getting a lot of questions about cropping, so we're going to we're gonna start talking about cropping this week, and it'll probably take a few weeks to get through everything, but um, we're going to become master croppers. But uh, right now... Let's get started with this one. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see my screen, and we'll see you in a second. Bye. All right, everyone. We're gonna Our first stop today is ProStitcher.com for everything ProStitcher related. Um, it, you'll see that it's ProStitcher Studio up at the top. Um, this is where you would come if you need a ProStitcher manual. You can have education videos. You can download your software updates. If you click over on ProStitcher, or if you hover over ProStitcher Designer, we have owners and the owner uh, or overview in your manual, some education videos, um, talks about the software. You can purchase Designer from here. You can also contact your local retailer and ask them if you can purchase Designer through them, um, and they can get it for you. So then you're supporting your local retailer instead of just buying it right online. Um, and then catalog, Pro Stitcher catalog. You can only buy Pro Stitcher catalog from ProStitcher.com, so it's a direct download, but you can contact your local retailer, ask them for their Pro Stitcher catalog discount code, and they, um, if they uh, give it to you, it gives you $10 off of the program. So the program retails for $149.99. You will get it for $139.99. So it's $10 off. Huge discount. No, but it's something. We all like something free, right? Um, 
If you don't have a retailer or you can't get one, send me a message. I will find out where you're located and see if I can get one for you. Um, I'm happy to help because like you, I also like to save money. Again, not a huge savings, but it's something. But you can also download your manuals, education video. Um, I'm actually just going to show you some of the stuff that I learned by watching the video here. But um, yeah, sometimes we like to see it a few times before it clicks, right? So this is Pro Stitcher Studio. I'm going to exit or ProStitcher.com. I'm going to exit out of here and just open my Pro Stitcher Studio. Um, now this at this right here used to say Pro Stitcher Designer, but when they added added catalog to it it changed the icon to pro stitcher studio um, one of the great um, I'm gonna open this and keep talking while I talk or well it's opening one of the great things about you know pro stitcher in general is that when there's updates you get them free and just like everything else if there were a new update when I come down here to click create a new design a pop-up would pop up and it would say hey there's a new version of this do you want to download it if you haven't downloaded it and you don't have Pro Stitcher Studio, your still says Pro Stitcher Designer, on our home tab, you won't have this find, um, so find app or uh, I want to say key, but that's not it. This find button, we're gonna call it a button. Um, the little binoculars, the find binoculars are or is Pro Stitcher catalog. This when you activate catalog, you get this button. Um, it's still there if you don't have catalog. It's just grayed out. So like the send right now is grayed out. I can't click on it. Um, that's because we don't have anything to send to the machine. There's no design on our workspace. Um, the find will also be grayed out. So you only get the find if you have catalog. Now, can you have catalog without Pro Stitcher Designer? Yes. So if you're someone who had Pro Stitcher a long time or um, have had your Pro Stitcher before Designer came out and you have Art and Stitch, you can still purchase catalog. You can still use the find features. You just won't be able to send those designs back and forth. Um, you can take them into your Art and Stitch and send them back and forth, um, or you can purchase Pro Stitcher Studio. I, th I think the retail for Pro Stitcher Studio is $5.99. It's like half the price of most of them. So this is Pro Stitcher Studio. Um, I am going to take my thumb drive and I'm going to plug it into my machine. <clears throat> and you'll have to bear with me. I, I am used to using a Mac. So this is, um, this is a PC so I can run my um, applications you'll hear all those little chimes that saying hey there's something new that was plugged into my machine so I'm gonna come down here to file we need to get open file Explorer and this is what file Explorer is it shows you all of the files on the computer on my left you can see right here this Lexar um, Lexar and it's the e file um, this is my thumb drive I also have a drive that says taco drive because I have a mini SD card in this that has a bunch of files on it as well um, and that's usually where I save everything, but in this case, I want to show you how to do a few things with this. So this is my thumb drive. And so this has my quiltable files and then all that other stuff that I said was on there. So there's almost 400 files on here. These are all just files that I can take to my machine and um, I need to get them on this computer. But before I put them on the computer, I want to show you how to take a file off the computer and save it here. So if I'm on my thumb drive, which is this, um, I have it selected and it's highlighted. I can come up to my home and I'm going to hit new folder and I'm just going to type this like um, long arm because I'm going to take a file that I've downloaded from the internet and put it into my long arm file. So if I come to downloads, I don't even know if there's some on my downloads. Um, let's see. Here's, uh, here's the arrow and crown set. Oh, these are, oh, there we are. Um, so this is an arrow and crown block. I already have these files on this computer, um, but this is also a quiltable file. I can pick the file I want. Maybe I'll only want one. And in this case, we're just going to say we want all of them. So if I um, left click on the top one and hold my shift down, I can left click on the bottom one. It selects everything so you can select everything you want. I can right click and hit copy. And now I've copied all of these files. I'm going to come back down here to my thumb drive, left click on my thumb drive so I have the files here, and I just made that long arm file. I want to save them in there. I can double click on my long arm file to open it, and if I right click, it's going to bring me up some selections, and I'm going to hit paste. 
and now you'll notice it will copy all of my arrow and crown set files over and now those files are on my thumb drive and if I wanted to take them straight to my machine I could right click on my thumb drive or my Lexar file and I'm going to click eject I'm not actually going to do it because I need this and um, if I eject it you'll get a little chime and it'll say safe to remove. We always want to eject these drives before we take them out because um, you're you're risking messing the data up on those um, on those drives if you just pull it. So it'll say safe to remove and then you take it out. Um, again in this case I still need it so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click back on my Lexar file because I need this quiltable file. I need everything that's inside here and I'm going to be moving it over to my, I think it's under documents. So under my documents file, you'll see this button or this file that says everything quiltable. I have a quiltable file and it has a bunch of files already in it, but I wanted to show you I'm moving it somewhere else. So I'm going to put in everything quiltable since it has all my stuff. So I'm going back to my Lexar file and I can right click on this quiltable file because I want everything in it and click copy and it will copy this file and everything in it okay and then I'm coming over to my documents I'm gonna double click on my everything quiltable file and I can right click here and paste it so now it's there's 783 items I was wrong so here's all of those files now so I want you to, keep to look at this. So there's some files that say Ironworks and like Ironworks block or let's see Ironworks border one when I'm going to. So I've everything's been copied to my machine or and everything's been copied from the thumb drive to my um, computer. So now I'm going to minimize this. We're going back into studio. Now if I go to find and I look for a name and those were all Ironworks and I hit find. So um, let me go back. I've, I'm going fast. I want to make sure you see what I'm doing. So I'm in my Pro Stitcher Studio. I'm on my home tab. I'm clicking find, which is catalog. And then there's keyword search and note search, name search. Those were all named Ironworks. So I typed the name in, or I typed Ironworks in, and I'm going to click find. And it's going to search through the files that it's currently that are currently on its list to search. Look down here where it says no designs found. That's because I just brought all those files in and saved them into a place that is not searched by catalog. So this is very important because um, this is one of the questions. I have all of these files and I can't get catalog to search for them. How do I do it? So catalog defaults. The find feature defaults to search the designs file that is um, that Pro Stitcher creates. So if I look down here in our file view, you'll see that here's my design file, and you have all of these PS tutorial and workspaces, my designer, PS designs, and I can hit these pluses. And it'll show you continuous lines and all you know all the other files that are there. It defaults and only searches this, but we want it to search more. We want it to search um, the Taco Drive, like that's where I keep all of my designs. So you have all of these other things that I have. Um, I have that quiltable um, file that I showed you that had some designs in it already, but I added the new file. I added this file called everything quiltable and that's the one we want to bring over so one you have to know where it where you saved all that stuff so I saved it under my documents in my everything quiltable file I can click on I'm gonna click on this design I'm gonna do a right click so we're used to doing left clicks I'm going to right click and you'll see um, find new folder new link show contents and etc I want this new link I want to create a link to put into this design file so I don't actually have to save designs there I'm gonna add a link to a file so I'm gonna click new link we'll get a pop-up and now I have to go find that file I want so I can click on documents because I know that's where my everything quiltable is here's my everything quiltable file so I'll select it 
you see the name um, populates down here, so it's folder, everything quiltable, and I'm going to select that folder. This says, do you want to allow this app to um, make changes? And I do, yes. And do you see over here where it says new link quiltable? And I can, I'm going to rename this everything quiltable. All right, and um, that everything quiltable file, because um, b you see this quiltable here. So it's everything quiltable with a quiltable file under it. So I'm gonna go back here, because if I click, if I double click everything quiltable, I have a quiltable file in there, because that's what the name of um, my uh, drive was. My thumb drive file was called quiltable, and I copied that whole file and pasted that whole file into everything quiltable okay so that's why we saw that name I'll minimize this so in the everything quiltable file there's another quiltable file so now it's going to be quiltable everywhere which is fine because it's going to search those for me anyway so now when I left ironworks so remember we had no designs I'm going to hit find it's going to take a minute because it has to it has a new file that it's searching and that new file has what over 700 designs in it so that's what this green bar is doing searching everything and now we have 37 designs that include ironworks in the name so i'm going to come and slide this bar up and here are all of the ironwork blocks that are and this is the current january um collection from quiltable that just came out january 1st and i'm super excited i have to make this it's a fabric if it's a fabric bin Maybe I'll make a video on how to do it. Um, but see, these are all the new Ironworks files that I brought over. So now it's searching in there. I think, um, was there a snowman? Snowman? No. There was snow something, I think, from December. 47. Oh, look, and it's also found some snowmen in my embroidery files, which is very fun. Um, but there's some quiltable files in here. Some Pro Stitcher, these are from Pro Stitcher, the snowflakes. So that's that's the power of catalog. It's gonna search everything with just a keyword. Um, I don't know, what what, should, what if I type in bird? This, I, I do this, I just start typing in things and seeing if I have, look, this is an embroidery file that I could digitize. These are obviously, um, some pro stitcher files because they're hqvs so it's super nice because it can find anything so if you have that quilt and you have a specific design you're looking for maybe it's um you need something with butterflies i can type in butterfly search and then now here are all my butterfly options of designs that are saved you know maybe i forgot i bought this i did forget i bought this butterfly design i bought this butterfly design in fe like february of 2016 you know i don't remember that's there but now i can just type in butterfly and see it so it it really opens up a lot of doors Ooh, this looks fun this is the problem. You start searching things and then you find things. I need to use this on something. Look how cute that is. I'm going to turn my grid off. Um, but you can go in and you can find things that you didn't even know you had. Most of us, if we have those design collections, we look at them once. And then unless we need something that week, like we never go back. And maybe I really like this butterfly and I want to use it. I'm going to delete this version. All right. So when I opened that design, I drag and dropped it over there. That's going to add a copy of the design, so it's not opening the original design. If I tap on the eye up here, and I'm going to minimize these a little bit so we can see the information on this design, there's no notes, there's no keywords, there's no rating, there's nothing there because this is a copy. It's a brand new, it's a brand new design. Now, and you'll see down here, I'm still in design one. If I double click it, you'll see it says um, Pansy Butterfly E to E. Now, when it opens this way, you have to be careful because you're opening the master file. If I came in here and changed some of the design or cropped it or did something, you're changing that master file. You're not changing a copy of it. So I only double click it if I'm going to come in and maybe add some keywords or um, add a rating, doing things over here in our file information. 
but never to the design itself. So maybe my keyword is um, use next. And I'm going to apply it. I want to save those changes because we're just changing it over here. So now if I come back to my finder, to my catalog, and I take the name off and I use the keyword use next, and I hit find, it's only going to find this one design. And you'll see right here, only one design, and that's because the keywords in this design are used next. So that's a, just a quick way to use catalog. Um, really important, you want to link those design files. I'll move some things. We want to link those files so that catalog actually searches it. And again, you're going to click on the file, right, or click on design, right click, use your new link, and go and pick that file um, that you want to link. A quick tip to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to come back to my file explorer. If you put all those files in the same place, like if I were to copy them from my drive or from my thumb drive and stuck them right into Taco and stuck that file right into this Taco file because the Taco file is all my designs already, that file's already linked right here, which has all those same files. Um, I wouldn't have to link a new folder. I can just save everything right into Taco. So if you make one master folder that says like, purchase designs and just started saving everything into purchase designs and you linked that purchase designs file, you'd only have to link one and never have to come back um, and link some more as long as you're saving them all into that. Um, but it's up to you. you. Your program, you get to do what you want to do. You know how I like to say, if it works for you, keep doing it and don't let anyone tell you to do it different. So, um, so yeah, just a little bit of a demo of, um, or a little more in-depth demo of um, Quiltable and um, or not um, not quiltable uh, of Pro Stitcher catalog and remember if you have um, the Pro Stitcher designer and catalog I could open a design and we're going to use this one I'm going to view it and or I'm going to preview and make sure this is stitches and then I will send it right over to Pro Stitcher simulator I'll say yes and now it's going to open simulator for me and I could Play with the design here now in my tools i could send it send a design straight to designer and you can send them back and forth this is added with pro stitcher beta so if you're not running beta yet you're not going to have this button um unless you're using it um and you can put beta on a computer on your computer you can put regular on your computer um, i like the beta on the computer because i can play with it but i always tell people if you if your computer crashed or if your pro stitcher crashed while you were stitching and you're not comfortable enough to recreate what just happened and get back to where you are beta is not for you get get a little more comfortable comfortable with your pro stitcher program before you start using beta because we want to make sure that you can get back to where you are just in case something happens um if you have questions feel free to send them to me i'm always here i'm I'm here to help. I want everybody to love and learn and have such an amazing time with their long arms just like I do. So um, I'm going to shut this down. And when you are on your Pro Stitcher on your simulator, make sure you still, just like you're doing it on your machine, shut down. And we're going to exit to Windows instead of shutting down. This will shut down your computer. I just want to hit exit to Windows. Um, I don't need to save anything and it will close my um, Pro Stitcher program for me. So that's how we want to close the Pro Stitcher program. Um, I'll see you. I'm going to turn the camera around. See you back here in a second. All right. I hope this helped you. I hope that um, maybe you'll think about getting catalog or if you have it that um, once you activate it. Now, I can't help you with all the activation stuff. I would say go and download the manual and it tells you how to activate it and how to do it on the tablet. Um, I, I have the manuals. I download the manuals for everything because I don't always remember how to do it. Once it gets to computer speak, it's kind of over my pay grade. I can fake it till I make it, I always say. Um, this happens to be something I have done a few times and I've watched some videos how to do it. So um, I always watch the videos and do it with the video and then forget and then have to go back. So, you know, I hope this helped you out a little bit. Remember, when we're, when we're taking our thumb drives out of our computers, we're going to hit eject. It'll give you a little chime saying it's safe to remove and I can take it out. Um, if you have questions, if I confused you, shoot me a message. Um, you can, I'll, like, 
follow me, Facebook and Instagram. I'm Adam So Fun everywhere, and that's S E W. Um, you can go to my website and uh, send me a message uh, through email. You can just email me direct, Adam So Fun at gmail.com. Send me messages through Facebook and Instagram. Message right on this video. I get them all. I get notifications for all of them. So just get those questions asked. There's no dumb questions. That's what we're here for. If, if I didn't want to answer questions, I wouldn't be making videos. So um, happy stitching. We'll see you next week. Or And what's today? Oh, it's Sunday. So yeah, we'll see you on Friday um, to start that cropping video so we can talk all things cropping. Give you some hints, or not some hints, but some tricks to make cropping Um look a lot or not look a lot better it always looks good but um maybe make a little of those applications more successful and you know especially when you have some really intricate things that you're cropping out and um yeah thanks for joining me we'll see you next time give me a thumbs up like subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so you're notified when you get new videos out um at the end of the day it's only it's only quilting so we want to laugh we want to have a good time we'll see you in the next video bye everyone <laughs>